Half of the insanity that is Alice Cooper lives somewhere inside the jigsaw puzzle mind that is Bob Ezrin. <laughs> Bob, of course, went on to produce some of the greatest rock albums ever made. Kiss, Aerosmith, Peter Gabriel, Pink Floyd, anyone else who dared to work with him. Welcome all the way from Nashville. It's my great pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, the minute I get off the plane and I get back here, it's, it, I can't even explain it, but it's something cellular. I do just feel like... Home. Oh. Oh. Well, you were born in Toronto. Yes, I was, right? and raised. And when did you leave? About what age? Well, I left a couple of times. The right. first time I left was in 1975, where I moved to New York for a little while. And then uh, 1980, uh, just after finishing The Wall, I came back because I figured, you know, this is a pretty big record and people are going to come <laughs> looking for me. Kind of big Not record, so much. Yeah. <laughs> It was like after three years, it was Bob who? Right. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And, yeah, but did so. you know at the time you were making musical history? I mean, that Pink Floyd The Wall has been on everyone's best albums of all time list for all time. Um, I knew that we were sitting on something really big. Mm -hmm. I did. And there was a point at which actually, I hate to admit it, but I actually slept with the masters. I'd wake up every 15 minutes with one eye open just to make sure they were still there. And just reach out and touch them because I, I knew that... Um, I was sitting on something so valuable. That must have been a very lumpy bed because master tapes in those days. Well, were they weren't in the bed. They were on a chair beside the okay. bed. And I was sleeping on the bed, mm. looking at them. Yes. Alice Cooper in the studio. What's, what's he like? He's like my brother. So he, you know, Alice Cooper in the studio, or Alice Cooper in in, in the uh, golf course, uh, <laughs> in the kitchen, or Alice Cooper in the living room, sitting in my spot watching television. You know, he's he and I. We're brothers from, from other mothers, you know, mm. and um, I, I've never been more comfortable with anyone in my life, you know, working with anyone. And it's just like, it's, it's such a kind of symbiotic and, and naturally co interdependent, not codependent, interdependent <laughs> relationship. Yeah. So he's always been great mm. in the studio and mm. easy to work with. What's your secret to career longevity, do you think? Uh, I just think I'm eternal, eternally restless, and uh, but at the same time enthusiastic. You know, like my wife just says, my wife says I'm, I'm 64 going on 15. You know, and uh, and pe when people joke about like, oh, you don't know what it's like to live with teenagers, she said, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's it. You know, I'm mm -hmm. just um, I'm restless and enthusiastic, and I I absolutely love what I do, all of it. Tell me about your interest in music education. We have been on a same committee together, Music Counts, which yeah. takes and raises money to put music instruments in schools that can't afford to, yeah. uh, to have well, instruments look, in music. I, it's, it's, it, you know, music education is, is just part of what I'm interested in. What I'm really interested in is the, the development of children and, and, um, and fulfilling our responsibility as a society to um, growing kids with the skills and the character that they need to be able to succeed in the world that we're leaving them. Mm. It's in our culture that we find our inner purpose. We find our meaning as a person, our, as people. And, and then we get to express that meaning through a lot of different means. We can become doctors, lawyers, successful business people. We can even be performers. It's not for those, it's not because we need to turn out a whole new generation of concert pianists that we should be teaching music education. But it is because the kids who study edu music in school, in a music class, music education in school, they learn to work together as a group, they learn to take direction, they learn to own their own part while being the part of something greater, mm -hmm. they learn how to take abstract concepts on a piece of paper, little dots and lines, that's all they are, and turn them into a beautiful physical reality. Mm -hmm. They learn that application produces results, because the more they practice, the better they get. And they learn how to dream. Mm. And, 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 and so I want those kids, I want the kids who know those things to grow up and take care of me when I'm too old to do it for myself. <laughs> exactly. It's purely yeah. self-defense, actually. You know? <laughs> right. no like, There's nothing wrong with that. No, yeah, no. no. Yeah. But seriously, you know, like if we take that away, you know, this may be the first culture in history that has stripped away culture. 
yeah, it's, from it, the education of its children. It's mind-boggling, really. Yeah. And, and, you know, that was a, a huge list, but there's so much more to that list, right? It, it helps them with their, with their math acuity. It helps in social, yes. interpersonal relationships. And all of well, that yes. stuff makes well, them better humans. Well, that's what I mean about the part about working within a group and all that stuff. Yes, it does. Yeah. I would pay to be in this business, honest to God. But to be able to do it and have people actually pay me for it, and then to be able to work with these fantastic people and and to do projects that that give me so much fulfillment and at the same time seem to touch others, you know? It's a it's just a, it's a, a blessing and a privilege. I love it. I'm thankful for it every single day. I don't think there's better words to end with than that. And congratulations once Thank again. Thank you. Big congratulations. Thank you. And for all you do. <clears throat> and Thank for you. the legacy that you're leaving and the people you're helping. Not to mention that Pink Floyd record and, you know, school's out. <laughs> <laughs>